Oh, <laughs> I'm live. I'm <clears throat> I hope I'm live and totally. Oops, I didn't mean to go live immediately. I was just setting me up and I hit live. Um, so I don't think this even has a title, but the title is Self Love. Whew. Oh my god. So, um, I'm sorry I'm late. I, um, I'm in my car. I just wasn't going to make it home. I went to the bank and um, there was a massive queue. I had to I had to go to the guichet to the counter and um, oh my god it just took forever. I guess Friday afternoon, beginning of the month. Anyway, so apologies if anybody was uh, planning, you know, was holding up for me being there at 2.30. Okay, so the topic today is self-love. I am only 99% sure that I'm live in totally so um, I just trust that wherever I'm live is where I'm supposed to be. No. Uh, I want to start this by saying that I gave um, an extensive training on self-love inside totally a while back and I thought, oh, why am I doing it again? But actually, um, I think, I trust that, you know what, even for myself, for all of us, we never can be reminded enough of the importance of self-love. Um, because, here's the thing. When you love yourself, when you realize your self-worth, when you decide excuse me, and it is a decision by the way, it's that simple. We make it so complicated. You do not need years of therapy. I'm not bashing therapy by any means. Definitely has its place. But you can decide right now that I'm a child of God, I have, I'm alive and therefore I'm lovable because that is the absolute truth. Um, making that decision and also, you know, working on it, deciding. Um, and actually I loved, you know, Heather's feedback about uh, when I posted something about self-love a few days ago and, and Heather said, um, I can't remember what your comment was, Heather, but it was something around that it's like being blowing your own trumpet. That's what you said. It's like it can be a bit, seem a bit boastful or full of ourselves or something to, um, uh, to, to love on ourselves. And, um, that's such a misconception because, because, we have, I feel like we, you know, so there's a lot of people out there that are sick or disadvantaged and, you know, well, we, we all have our challenges, but if you're, um, saying, oh no, 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 I can't love my, you know, if you have that belief or misconception, oh, they're sorry about the sun guys. I know that the, uh, the visual is not very good here, but listen to the message anyway, just listen to the audio. Um, if you're believing that, um, it's, it's not, uh, if there's some belief and, you know, it could be from childhood that, oh, it's not a good thing for me to love and appreciate myself. Um, you're doing yourself a disservice. And in the, in a way I, I come to the conclusion that it's ungrateful. It's ungrateful for the gift of life. You know, we have, you have this gift of life. So fully appreciate it and take responsibility for it. That's what I think as well. You know, take responsibility for it. You know, people, there's people who lose limbs, who lose their arms, who lose their legs, who lose their sight and, or who were born without sight or hearing or, and we have all of those things. And so it's our responsibility to make the most of them. That's what I believe. I'm going to just, oh, I have a, a holder for my uh, phone, but, um, that was, it's, uh, the sun is getting in the way. Okay. So, um, so yeah, so I, that's what I really want to say is take responsibility. Visual is just not working. Okay, so take responsibility for loving yourself. Decide, make a decision, say, okay, that's it, I'm going to, I'm going to, from now on, um, I'm only going to see my magnificence because that's what's there. If you're not, if you want evidence of that, read a book by Anita Morjani, M-O-O or J-A-N-I is her last name. And her book is called Dying to Be Me. She's one of many people who had a near-death experience and really got that, um, we are magnificent beings. We are magnificent beings. There's no, there's no doubt about that. So, um, own it, own it, own it. That's my message. That's really what, what I wanted to say. So not only that, um, I want to talk about the how, and I will, I will root out the previous training because there was a lot of how in there, but, uh, you know, it's like the first how in self love, you know, if you really want to improve your self love or increase it, it's, uh, is, is just making that decision decide, okay, I'm a child of God. I'm a magnificent being. I'm going to really uh, appreciate this gift of life and love myself fully, love myself fully. Oh, by the way, here's another great, uh, analogy, um, on self-love. It's like, you cannot, 
give to another, if you're not full up on the inside, full of self-love, you can't give to another so much. What you do is fill your own cup up first with it and all the excess, there'll be so much excess when you're full of self-love, then you share that, you spread that out into the world. So me, you know, with, with a higher vibration now and feeling joy and gratitude, I'm much more useful to those around me, you know, to my kids, to friends, to family. I am, you know, when I'm in that positive space, you know, people feel it, right? When you're feeling positive, people feel it. When you're feeling self-love and it rubs off on them. So give them that gift too. You're not only giving that gift to yourself. When you're loving on yourself, um, it, it has an effect on others too. So see that, that, you know, we're all one anyway. So there's, there's nothing. Hey, Rachel. <laughs> so there's nothing, you know, I, I really want to challenge that belief. Um, and, and, you know, as, as Heather was talking about that, you know, about blowing our own trumpet, um, I really, you know, I can relate to that because I can remember being in a church as a child and just reading at the exit of the church, there was this thing about the most important things in the world. I can't even remember what it was about, but the last thing it said is, it was saying like the most important thing is giving, blah, 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 something like that. And the very last uh, line was the least important word is I. And I remember thinking that, yes, the least important word is I, but oh my God, that was, you know, I was like, no, 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 no. So self-rejection, you know, don't, don't appreciate myself or think about I, 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 I. I mean, you know, it depends how you interpret it, right? Because, um, uh, it, it's in the giving that we receive. And of course, um, you know, it probably, I, I think I just misinterpreted it probably whatever it was. Anyway, um, what did I want to say? There was something very important related to self-love and it's escaped me right now. Um, Oh, that annoys me. Okay, well, don't worry. I'll, I'll I'll share about it later. Okay, let me go into the how about how you would uh, uh, if you want to start loving on yourself <laughs> or loving yourself more. So obviously, the first thing is um, making the decision. Maybe you didn't misinterpret it, says Rachel. Hmm. Well, I did misinterpret it, Rachel, because what I saw the that uh, what I got from it was oh, the least important thing is I so. I'm not important. And that as a child to believe I'm not important, others are more important than, to me is completely a misinterpretation of what God wants for us, I firmly believe. Because if we don't believe that we're important, if we don't value ourselves, here's the risk. If we don't value ourselves, oh, the sun is really a pain. If we don't value ourselves, um, then we're not going to... Uh, believe we're worthy of receiving goodness. We're not going to believe we're worthy of love, basically. Um, you know, we're going to, you know, a little bit like a martyr, put it, putting others first and then feeling resentful. And it's so dysfunctional, so dysfunctional. So it's so important to, to value ourselves, value ourselves first. Actually, excuse me, David Nagel, a great mindset coach I follow, he commonly says the most important uh, person in the world is myself. He, you know, he says that, and he says like, what does that bring up for you? And it's really interesting because of course we think, oh no, I'm not the most important person in my world. But yes, we have to be, you know, we have to take care of ourselves first in order to be able to give to others. So, um, that's, uh, yeah, I think that makes absolute sense. Okay. So how do we do that? So, okay. First you make the decision and then it's as simple as, okay, here's one thing that I do. I love to do at night or in the morning or when I remember is just hugging myself and just, I love you, Neve. But, you know, not like, oh, you're amazing, Neve, but really um, just from that place of gratitude, you know, and appreciation and appreciation for my bed, appreciation for myself, appreciation for the gift of life, for my health, and just that connection, you know, that no matter what, no matter what, um, acceptance, self-acceptance for myself. That's another one, self-love. If you are full of self-love, you're kind to yourself. You know, if you're not reaching your goals or expectations that that you're not hating yourself for that, that there's some compassion there and kindness um, would be another thing. Uh, another thing would be affirmations, you know, just reminding yourself, just purposefully writing every morning 10 things you love about yourself, for example, or 100 things. Sometimes I've given that exercise to clients, you know, um, 100 reasons I'm attracted to myself or 100 ways I'm attracted to myself, you know, just really to 
draw it to your attention. Wherever we turn our attention, it, it grows. So it's really like um, a farmer who wants his flowers to grow or his fruit to grow. Um, so he's going to water those. He's not going to water the weeds. He's not going to water the negative thoughts. So, so that's it. Um, now, there is, was a really important point I wanted to make on this live stream around self-love. And I don't remember what it is. But when it comes to me, I'll come back in. I'm going to share the the previous self love training and at the end of the day though bottom line is make the decision you can your reality can change in an instant you can change in any belief in an instant um just by deciding it's a decision but a deeper decision to say yes from now on I'm going to love and accept myself and you know, sell it to yourself. Just say, oh, you know, well, what would be the benefit of me doing that? What would be the benefit of me loving and appreciating myself? Um, you know, I might be kinder to myself. And Oh, and another thing. Here's another benefit. If you're loving and appreciating yourself, people pick up on that and they're kind of like, oh, she's lovable. You know, so they will love you more too. So your relationships improve. Um, and if you're loving and appreciating yourself, you're nicer to others. So again, your relationships with others improve. So... It just makes perfect sense. It's it's the most important thing in the world, I think, is self-love. The most important thing in the world. But not from this big-headed ego place. There's no ego in it. There's a humility in it, actually. And uh, a real deep appreciation. That's it. So yeah, do your affirmations. Uh, just hug on yourself. Be kind to yourself. Every time you notice criticism or judgment coming in, turn it, pivot it, turn it around, decide, um, well, you know what? I'm going to do better next time. Well, you know what? I'm doing my best. Well, you know what? I'm going to seek support for that or whatever, whatever is going on. Just all the time turning it to uh, self-love and positivity. That's it, guys. Sorry that I was late with training today. Lots of love. Thanks for being on live, Rachel. <laughs> Beautifully put. And yeah, sorry for the visual with the sun. <laughs> But um, yeah, hopefully the message just uh, has given you some food for thought. And it's just a constant r reminder, even for me, just sharing this training to remind myself that, yes, such deep appreciation for myself. And you know what? Another thing, when we love ourselves, we don't abuse ourselves. We don't, we're more careful and mindful not to, you know, fill ourselves with junk food, etc. Because we want to feel good because we love ourselves. So we, we make choices that support feeling good and we make choices that support love, right? It's like, it's like, you know, with my kids, I'm not going to feed them junk food because I love them and I care for them and I want them to um, feel the best they can. So yeah, treat now and again, but in general, so it's the same with ourselves, you know? So, and what can help as well is the inner child looking at, and that's part of the, the self-love training I gave was, um, you know, just that, that little child inside of you, just really treating yourself like you would treat a little child, a little, little child full of self-love and care. That's it. So let me know your thoughts on it. If you've got any resistance, if you're still like, but how, I don't know how, and it doesn't work for me. I'd love to take baby steps with you and work through that because, um, you can, you totally can uh, create that new connection with yourself and uh, it's life-changing absolutely life-changing lots of love have an awesome weekend fill yourself with self-love do things that you love have great experiences and um, yeah you know I just was talking with a friend last night whose neighbor died 49 years old this beautiful woman with two teenage children and it was all very quick from cancer and uh, you know, you just never know. You've just got to really appreciate life to the full. You just never know. Um, so take risks, have fun, and uh, love yourself.